Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Wad. This one is for Thursday, the 3rd of the 10th, 2019. So this is for tomorrow, Thursday, and um, complete breakdown of the workout right here of what you have to expect tomorrow when you get into class. So guys, we're gonna start off our warm up tomorrow with very simple stuff, okay? We're gonna do some easy singles. Tomorrow, really, really important, if you have a skip and roll, bring it with you to class and um, if you don't have one maybe you can get hold of one today and um, you're going to need a good skip rope tomorrow for class because a lot of class is going to revolve around the double under and the skipping so we will start off as i said in the warm-up easy single unders some blue bridges front planks some higher single unders followed by some more bridges and planks and then um, we're going to go around i'm going to look at some rounds of wall sits slow air squats mobility will all revolve around the couch stretch tomorrow to stretch out of quads I know myself and I'd say a lot of you are a bit sore in the lower body this week and we've got a couple of tough workouts Monday through Wednesday this week and so we will stretch out and make sure um, that we're doing plenty of mobility before we start into any strength work. We're going to do some movement prep tomorrow um, in class so myself and Jakob will be looking at, um, myself Jakob and Adrian will be looking at um, D double under, okay? So we'll be doing 20 seconds of high reps on the single unders, 40 seconds of double under practice for some movement prep. If you struggle with the double under tomorrow, okay, um, I will come back to movement substitutions for the workout that you can use um, later on in this video. So before we go into the workout tomorrow, we're gonna do again some more uh, solid strength work. I know we'll be doing a lot lately. This is just probably the last heavy stuff that we're gonna do before the open workouts come up next week. So we're gonna do some back squats and it's gonna be 15 minutes on the clock as usual for our strength piece. Back squat, bar on the rack. Bar comes off the rack onto the back. And you're gonna do three sets of six. Now, before the three sets of six, it's gonna be 15 minute period to do this. Before the three sets of six, you're gonna do three warm up sets of six. Now by no means tomorrow, I'm looking for you to work up to your heaviest set of six. I'm just looking for you to do three challenging sets of six. So no problem. When you do your three warm sets of six afterwards, if you keep like 50 kilos on the bar for the other three sets, that's fine. If you want to go up the weight, that's okay as well. I would suggest you don't go overboard with the weight on the back squat tomorrow, as we've done a lot of lower body this week already, and we've done the front squats on Monday. So keep the weights at a medium to tough level, but you're definitely able to complete them three sets of six after your warm up. 15 minutes of strength work done on the back squat, we're moving towards a workout. Tomorrow's workout is going to be a 15 to 18, 15 to 18 minute capped workout, guys. And it's got two different sections in it that are going to have the same reps in each section. So, you're going to start off with a set of 50, 35 and 20 of double unders and sit-ups. That just means ab mat sit-ups. That just means you're going to do 50 double unders, 50 ab mat sit-ups, 35 double unders, 35 ab mat sit-ups, 20 double unders, 20 ab mat sit-ups. Now, the double under, if you struggle with it, okay, and you find it hard, you can, have, you can do two things. As I said earlier, there's gonna be movement substitutions for it, okay? So instead of doing a set of 50, 35, 20, you could do, if you want to practice double unders, in the first set, the 50 reps, you could do 60 seconds of practice. For the set of 35, you could do 45 seconds of practice. And for the set of 20, you could do 30 seconds of practice. If you really, really struggle with the double under and you don't have them yet, and you're still learning skipping, then you could substitute in there 100 singles, 70 singles, and 40 in exchange for the reps of double unders. So again, our first round of this workout tomorrow is gonna to be 50 double unders, uh, 50 ab mat sit-ups, 35, 35, 20, and 20. On the ab mat sit-up, a set of 50, 35, and 20 is gonna to be tough for a lot of people. So if you find a set of 50 too tough, and a set of 35 too tough, and a set of 20 too tough, maybe you start the sit-ups at a different level. So you might start off instead of a 50, you might do a set of 30, then 25, and then 20, okay, on the ab mat sit-up, instead of doing 50, 35, 20. That's just another option for you in the substitutions. So again, just to recap guys, first round is gonna be 50 double unders, 50 ab mat sit-ups, 35, 35, 20, 20, with the substitutions that you can put in there if you need to. When that's finished, you're gonna go directly into another round of 50, 35, 20. The double under stays there, or you can put in the single, but you're gonna do air squats instead of the ab mat sit-ups. So it'll be 50 double unders, 50 air squats, 35, 35, 20 and 20, all done. So, 
two separate workouts. The double under is in both reps of 50, 35, 20. And the only change in the workouts is the first one is ab mat sit ups and the second one has air squats. Again, guys, all of this is broken down on Wattify. You will see it on your app tomorrow and also on the link on the website tonight. So if you need to view it and catch up on exactly what I'm talking about, do view the, um, the workout breakdown on uh, the website tonight. I will share that link as well under this video. Um, quick notes, um, just on the rest of this week, we've done um, some heavy lifts this week, notably today with the strict press. Get into the habit again, guys, we've been talking about it in class or recording your numbers. I think it's really important that you keep track of numbers, not for, you know, not for, um, not for any sort of purpose of, you know, chasing people or anything like that. I just want you to know where you are. So record your numbers and modify. Let's see how you're getting on and make sure you get a good, um, stint of recording your scores you can see your progress and as well as that lastly I know this is a bit of a longer video today we've got the CrossFit Open starting next week you saw my message last night about around the WhatsApp group anybody that's new anybody that's here for a longer period of time that's done it before you will know that for me personally the Open is all about community okay it's all about community it's all about people getting together it's all about people supporting each other and trying to get the best out of each other this is not about competitive perform performance for CrossFit Lee side yes we will see people do better and you will push yourself to do better than what you've done before within reason where you're safe and that's really important to me but there's going to be a, a tougher workout there's going to be an easier workout everybody in the gym will be able to do this workout so i would suggest that it would be a good idea for you to be involved to sign up to it and um, it has no financial benefit to me whatsoever it's completely to crossfit so if you want to sign up that's fine if you don't want to sign up that's fine as well you can still do the workouts you don't have to uh, submit your scores or anything like that but it just adds to a little bit of crack for the five weeks and sets your mind to focus. So if you, do, if you don't know what I'm talking about, view back in last night's messages. The CrossFit Open starts next week, uh, Thursday week, that'll be tomorrow week. Um, check it out, guys. I know today's a little bit longer, but uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for another Daily Wad. Cheers, dudes.